We chose Dorgan Smith because of their reputation in the field of education. They obviously done a number of projects around Scotland with the independent sector. So there was a huge reassurance there that they successfully rolled out a number of projects for schools, including at St Columbus, Merkston Castle, Robert Gordon's College. There were loads of really amazing projects and, and huge, you know, huge budgets. So the building we wanted to be very outward facing. We wanted to be a beacon for Scotland, you know, for local schools but wider afield because we just feel that this model is something that education more widely is crying out for. So in a sense, the metaphor of the glass and the outward looking aspect of the building is captures what exactly what the purpose of the building is. There's different spaces in the building, so we've got a workshop downstairs and even the workshop is a bit of a wow factor for the children and parents because you know, in there we've got band saws, we've got laser cutters, we've got state-of-the-art 3D printers, giving children responsibility for being able to go in and use the equipment and then come into this area here which is the design studio part and do all their prototype. In the middle floor we've created a lovely performance space because we want the building to be as much a, a cultural centre if you like as a, as a learning space. So in that middle floor we were going to have like speakers and corporate events and corporate training but there's also a sprung floor so there could be dance classes going on in there. And then the top floor again is a really lovely sort of lighter workshop where there will be glue guns and cardboard and all those other things that kids need to prototype and do their design work. So there's a number of different areas that Doig and Smith really rose to the challenge, which was brilliant. Possibly the, the, the earliest one was the speed of completion. It was a very, very quick turnaround. Cause so in a, in a sense, Doig and Smith took the decision to have a two-stage approach to the whole procurement. All the work packages were worked on as the building, in a sense, was being built, which meant for an incredibly nimble approach to procurement in the building. So the school is a live school, so there are 650 kids here. So that's another challenge in terms of health and safety and Doig and Smith's ability to manage all these aspects because at one point there had to be a trench dug like virtually the full length of the playground but they managed that brilliantly. In a sense for us it meant that there was an incredibly strong bond of the team because everyone felt like they were really working together in something that was almost like a live situation. So we would absolutely work with Doig and Smith again. I mean, the whole quality of the relationship and the communication has been outstanding from the very first moments of talking about the building to involving the circularity aspect, from the kids who were involved in the shadow construction team and the shadow design team, you know, the fact that Doig and Smith were willing to embrace that and work with them. And these kids get a hugely rich experience.